foodies, foodies out there, get ready to feast tonight. We are learning more about this year's Taste of Cincinnati. Yeah, from the new attractions to the dishes voted best of taste. WLWT News Post. Tammy Mutasa is showing us what to look for this year. Hi, Tammy. You had a tough assignment today. Yeah, it was so easy, Sheree. You know, the taste of Cincinnati gets bigger every year. And this year, 5th Street, right behind me, will be closed off over Memorial Day weekend for the huge festival, especially with more than half a million people expected to chow down. Taste of Cincinnati! Woo! <laughs> it makes us hungry just thinking about it. 37 restaurants, 10 food trucks, 250 menu items. All over one Memorial Day weekend. It's sweat, blood, but it's worth it. Taste of Cincinnati is coming back to fuel the tri state's culinary curiosity. The 37th year of the food festival will feature nine new restaurants and a food truck alley. The best burger makers in Cincinnati will go head to head in the Bud and Burgers Championship Tour. This isn't your father's taste of Cincinnati. It's current, it's up to date, and it's it's really meeting the, the taste buds of the community. Today, we found out who snagged some of the best of taste awards. The Melting Pot took home the top entree award for its teriyaki sirloin. Best app, coconut chicken and rice soup from the Witch on Sycamore. And you can finish up with the best dessert from Market Street Grill, the creme brulee. And it was very difficult. These people are putting out their best entrees. Every restaurant that's going to be there is their best entree, the thing that they do the best. Just ask the winners what a weekend of exposure at Taste can do for your business. Oh, it's, it's been absolutely amazing. I think our weekday business doubled. And you'll get to sell your food and make money selling your food. So, you know, to, to us, it's a win-win situation. You know? Organizers hope the timing plus the 5th Street location make a recipe for success. That's what we really want to do is also on the side promote the economic development of the region and have fun doing it. Now, along with the delicious food, 60 bands will take the stage. The three day event kicks off May 23rd. Reporting live downtown, Tammy Matassa, WLWT News 5. Thanks, Tammy. Now I'm starving. By the way, Tammy touched on a few of the winners for us tonight, but if you want to plan your menu, maybe around all of the top dishes, just go to our website tonight, WLWT.com.